Hello everyone, let's solve a problem with a very common programming pattern. So we are given an array of length n and we are also given a positive integer and we are also given a positive integer k. A good subarray is defined such that the first and the last value of a subarray should differ exactly by k. For example, if we are looking at subarray starting with 5 and the k value is given as 3, then any subarray ending at 8 will be a valid subarray since the difference will be 3. Similarly, if any subarray is ending at 2, this will also be valid because the difference is 3. And out of all such subarrays, we have to find the maximum sum. And if there are no good subarrays, we have to return 0. Let's look at the example given. Here k is given as 1. So for any subarray starting at 1, ending at 2 will be a valid subarray. Similarly, a subarray starting at 2 and ending at 3 will also be valid. Similarly, we have 5 such subarrays which are valid. And out of that, the subarray 5 comma 6 will have the maximum sum. In our second example, the k value is given as 3. So if we are looking for a subarray starting with minus 1, if it ends at 2, the difference is 3. So this will be a valid subarray. Similarly, if we look at a subarray starting with 2, the ending value of 5 is valid because the difference is 3. So this subarray will have the maximum sum and the sum is 11. Let's try to come up with an intuitive solution for this. Let's first try to understand how we can solve this problem by just a brute force approach. Let's try to see some properties of a valid subarray starting or ending at 5. Since we are given a k value of 3, the valid corner values are either 2 or 8. So let's say we encounter a value of 8 or 2 to the right of 5. In that case, we'll find the sum of this subarray and maximize our result. So we are going to start from each index in the array and we have to find all the subarrays at the right which are ending at a valid value such that the difference between the starting and the ending position is k. Now we are going to repeat the same process starting from the first index. So you can notice that will require two loops and the time complexity would be O of n square. Some of you may also have a doubt why are we not looking values to the left and we are looking only values to the right of it. Since we are looking both at the greater and smaller value with the difference of k. So let's say when we started from 2, we will be looking for a value of 5. So this will also be covered. And similarly, if we started from a value of 8, we will be looking at 8 minus 3. So this value will also be covered. So we don't have to look at left. Let's try to come up with an optimized solution using just one loop. Let's see what happens when we first encounter a value of 5 and then later we encounter a value of 8. If we can somehow track that we have seen a value of 5, which will make some subarray in the left as a valid subarray ending at 8, then we know that we just have to find the sum of the subarray starting at that position and ending at 8. Hence we have to store all the values that we have encountered on the left in either a hash map or a hash set so that when we encounter 8 in the right, we can immediately check whether we have seen either 5 or 11. If any of these two conditions are true, then we know we have a valid subarray. But there is still a problem. How can we find the sum of this subarray? We would ideally want to avoid going back and finding 5 and calculating the sum till then. Hence probably it would make sense to store the prefix sum when we encountered 5. Since we have to include 5 also, we are going to take the prefix sum to the left of it. And when we add all these values till 8 and subtract this prefix sum, and when we add all the values till 8 and subtract the prefix sum, that will give the sum of this subarray. This is a very common prefix pattern where we have to find the sum of a subarray. I already solved some problems in which we require a prefix sum to calculate the sum of some subarrays. I will highly encourage you to look at that problem also when we have solved this. So let's continue with our solution. So what we can do is that whenever we encounter any value, we are going to use the sum on the left and store it in a hash map. So when we encounter 8, we see that there is a value of 8 minus 3 in the left and the sum till this part is 36. So when we use the prefix sum value for the left value, if we subtract a sum of 6, this will give the sum of this subarray with a value of 30. Now let's look at a case when the same number occurs twice on the left. So when we encounter 8, 
should we use the prefix sum from this or should we use the prefix sum from this since we want to maximize the sum of either of these two subarrays the prefix sum till this point is still going to remain the same but we should try to minimize the prefix sum on the left this will give us a maximum value of the subarray sum let's try to understand this with the help of this example when we first encounter 5 we are going to store the prefix sum for 5 with the value of 1 and when we encounter 5 again we see that this sum is 9 now and since we have to subtract the prefix sum value if we subtract only this part this will result in a higher sum if somehow we were to subtract this part we see that this sum is very positive and more than 1 hence the subarray sum would be lower in this case now let's look at a scenario when we encounter some negative numbers so the first time we encounter 5 we are going to store an entry in the hash map for the prefix sum of 5 with a value of 1 and when we encounter 5 again we see that this prefix sum is now minus 4 so if we were to subtract minus 4 from the prefix sum of 8 this would lead to a larger sum hence we should always try to minimize the prefix sum for a value so we'll update it with minus 4 so if we encounter the same value again we should check if the current prefix sum is lesser than the value already stored then we should update it and when we encounter 8 we can use this value to find the subarray sum the time complexity of this solution would be o of n because we only have to loop through the array once and the space complexity would be o of n because we have to store a hash map for each of the values in the array let's implement our solution the first thing that we'll do is create a hash map to store the prefix sum of the left values since we want to minimize the prefix sum every time we see the same value we can use a default value of infinity let's initialize our result to be minus infinity and let's keep a variable to store the prefix sum for the left values now let's go through all the elements in the array using a for loop the first thing that we'll do is minimize the prefix sum for our current value so we'll use either the value that is already stored in the prefix map or we are going to use the current prefix sum till now please note that we have not added the value x to our current prefix sum this is because whenever we encounter a valid subarray we want to include the value x hence the prefix sum that has to be deleted should not include x and once we are done adding the current prefix value to our hash map we can update the current prefix sum with our value x this x will now be our right element so we have to check if we have encountered either x minus k on the left so we'll check that if it exists in the hash map in that case we'll maximize our result that is by taking the current prefix sum and then subtracting the prefix sum for x minus k we have to do the same check for x plus k also hence we'll reuse our code to check for x plus k and once we are done with our for loop and we have checked all the valid pairs we can return our result if we did not encounter any valid pair in that case our value will still be minus infinity in that case we have to return zero so we are only returning the result if we have encountered a valid subarray we are now done with our solution i will highly encourage you to look at similar problems that i have solved in this channel before if you have any doubts or concerns regarding this solution please mention in the comments and if this video was helpful please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more such content thanks for watching